Adam Savage here in my cave from Tested.com with a new show and tell. Well, you see a piece of it right here. This looks like a charred and burnt hand, and that's exactly what it is. But it is a very special hand because this is one of the four remaining pieces of Buster that I kept from the end of Mythbusters. Buster, obviously, was the crash test dummy we used in so many of our experiments. Uh, and the first thing to tell you about Buster is that there's an original Buster, but after that, everything we abused, we named Buster. So every time you saw something fall to its death, that was one Buster. Sometimes Buster was a sin dabber with realistic organs and a realistic skeletal and venous structure. Sometimes Buster was a rescue Randy that firemen carry and firewomen carry up and down stairs to train for carrying actual people up and down stairs during fires, which is amazing. And if you've never had to lift the dead weight of a full human, oh my God, your respect for fire people will go up so fast. But there was an original Buster and I'm the one that actually found him. So we shot the pilots for Mythbusters in the summer of 2002. Uh, they spent a few months editing them. The first episode of Mythbusters aired in January of 2003. And within a week, Discovery called us and said, we want a full series. And we had a couple of months before the production company showed up. And so I thought, and we had talked about it during the pilots, that a crash test dummy would be an amazing thing to have for a show like this. So I started to look into crash test dummies. And I found out that in 2003, the most modern crash test dummy was called a Hybrid 3, and they were expensive. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for one of these. Well, I knew no one was gonna give us a Hybrid 3, but I thought, well, if a Hybrid 3 has come out recently, then maybe there's a bunch of people with Hybrid 2s on the shelf, and they might let us borrow one of those. And so I called, and now I'm going to be circumspect about who I spoke to, because I spoke to a company, agency, what have you, who wishes still to remain anonymous. However, I called up this company, agency, et cetera, and I said, hey, I'm working on this new television show for the Discovery Channel. Uh, it's called Mythbusters, and we need a crash test dummy. And they were like, oh yeah? You need a crash test dummy. And I said, yeah. And they said, what do you want? What are you thinking about? And I said, I'm thinking that since the Hybrid 3 is a new addition, that you might have a Hybrid 2 you might loan us. And holy moly, were those like the right words. Sometimes when you're talking to someone, just having done a little bit of research yourself helps get them across the line. Because of course they thought, you want one of our crash test dummies? We spent tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars on these things. Why would we give you one? And then I asked for last year's model and all of a sudden they were like, I think we could do that. And sure enough, they literally mailed me a hybrid two crash test dummy in its entirety and said, please don't tell anyone where you got this. Side note, five years after that, I sat on a plane next to the very executive who had authorized the giving of that crash test dummy to me, and he denied it <laughs> right there to my face. It was awesome. So this is a secret, and I'm keeping that secret. But here is Buster's hand. And this is the hand from the very first Buster that we received back then. Uh, eventually, I think Cary Grant and Tori got their own hybrid two dummy that they played with, uh, but this is from the very first one, and this is one of four pieces I have saved. I also have one of Buster's shoulders. That shoulder, we actually, uh, we shattered, dropping him from the very first experiment we did with Buster. We broke him into little chunky pieces. See, because we were operating under this assumption that a crash test dummy was meant to be heavily abused and would survive anything we could throw at it. So the first thing we did was we dropped it from a 185 foot tall crane into water and it shattered our crash test dummy. It literally sheared the shoulder right here and you can see weld marks where Scotty Chapman welded it back together before it fell apart again in another subsequent experiment. So here's how far off the mark we were about Buster's resiliency. We thought he'd be able to survive anything. In your average car crash though, uh, the human body sustains somewhere between zero and about 75 Gs of force in your average car accident. 75 Gs, that's 75 times the force of gravity. Uh, I myself have experienced seven and a half Gs and I stayed awake and it took every ounce of my strength. So 70 Gs is a, very, very lethal amount of Gs to sustain in an accident. But when you drop Buster from a 185 foot tower into water, 
he sustained over 550 Gs. Uh-huh, yeah, like half an order of magnitude or more force than a standard car crash. So that's when we started making our own busters and started being more judicious about what we used Buster for. And like I said, if we abused it and threw it out of a plane or a train or an automobile, that's, we called it Buster, but Buster was, well, let me just put it this way. There is in fact still an international church of Buster. They worship him because he has died so many times for your knowledge. But these are two of the pieces. I also have a piece of Buster's underskull. And as you can see, there's evidence of much damage where it was shattered, welded back together again, shattered again above the weld. I, I love how much narrative there is in these pieces. And then just last weekend, I was going through my storage space uh, and I found the box of all the key bits of Mythbusters display that I kept in my office at Jamie's shop. And I found the most important piece, which is Buster's face. Yeah, and I have so much sentimental love for this thing. These magnificent Frankenstein stitches, which were done by the brilliant and amazing Carrie Byron uh, while they were filming with Buster. She really turned him into a leather-faced horror show, which is right up my alley and my sense of humor. Uh, and I, I will tell you that we had so many parts and chunks that for Mythbusters series ending, um, the production and Jamie and I put together a small plastic box for every single crew and cast member that included chunks of Buster, my favorite new salsa, and also a burnt, broken, or waterlogged, or bullet hole camera. Because uh, those are the other things we destroyed more of than anything else on the show. Burnt cameras and chunks of Buster, that was our crew gift. And this is my show and tell. This all lives on a shelf over in the corner so I can wax philosophical about all the time I spent with this lovely dude over the years. Thanks for watching.